Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid and if this reading feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. Okay, may not be your reading. May or may not be, okay. Typically, my readings are love readings, so, you know, take it as it is. If you are in a happy marriage, then you don't need a tarot reading. Ooh, a solid opportunity, something handed to you from above, a golden opportunity. All you have to do is follow the yellow brick road. But holding on to something, uh-oh, has to do with children or memories. Here we have the emperor, which is the sign of Aries, interesting enough. Um, hmm. Let's get some more cards. There's a golden opportunity to bring structure back something like that hmm oh hmm. airy Aries damn it I meant to say Virgo so I don't know why Aries came out of my mouth but it did it did Aries came out of my mouth for a reason. I don't know why it just did. Um, hmm. So, let's see what we have here, Virgo. You may be a little detached at this time, or you could be dealing with somebody who's detached, cold, and withdrawn. Okay. The King of Cups is a water sign, but it could be you taking on this energy. The King of Cups in reversed is cold, detached, withdrawn, unable to express emotion at this time. So I'm not sure if that's you or, or somebody that you're dealing with. But, you know, I feel like your challenge, and in their challenge position is, is the Eight of Pentacles reverse, not putting in much effort, not wanting to, to work on something. And, you know, with the sun being in the middle reversed, somebody's not happy, of course, right? Somebody's not happy, and that's why you're watching a tarot reading. When you're not happy, you go looking for a tarot reading, and that's the truth, okay? Somebody has been denying the truth, not wanting to accept the truth, ignoring the truth with this Two of Swords. It's, it's a terrible card to get, okay? It's when somebody is sitting on the fence, they're at a crossroads, you have to make a difficult decision. There's stress involved in this decision, okay? It's like you have to face your fears, and in order to face your fears, you got to take the blindfold off, and you know, we've already been down this road. There is a, you know, replace fear with faith. Replace fear with faith. Head out of this situation. You guys could be traveling away from this mentality, moving out of it to bring victory and success to your, to your life. Because if you see, we have the King of Pentacles reversed. Then we have moving out of it, moving away from it, mastering your emotions, replacing your fears with faith, taking the lead to that leads to self-love. It leads to... Um, compassion it leads to happiness it leads to tranquility okay so your overall outcome of this reading is the Queen of Cups it's becoming at peace with yourself so congratulations I mean that is great this is a very peaceful serene Queen she's she's just like totally at ease so I feel like the end of July there's probably a new golden opportunity that is presented to you or has been prior because that can kind of be in the past or recently or happening now or I don't know what but I feel like you guys are receiving some new stable solid beginning perhaps that is going to move you away from this period of detachment and and with with withdrawn emotions you know that you've been hanging on to I think that maybe you have hung on to some emotional feelings for quite some time 
that have held you back from being happy, but I, it looks to me like you're moving away from that. You know, you're moving away from that mentality. You're starting to remember what love feels like again, or you're, you're bringing back memories of love, whatever. I feel as though stability, security, structure, organization is coming back to your life. Right around the corner, we have this emperor, which is the sign of Aries, and... And this person, I'm not sure if they're in your life now or they're coming in, into your life, but that's my around the corner position. It's coming. This stability, security. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking of the word. It's like control. Lot, things that have been out of control are going to they're going to calm down it's going to it's going to come back together it's just going to it's like peace out <laughs> you know i can't really think of the words but i can see it in my head it's like things are going to the chaos that you've been going through or feeling within yourself or the the disorganization within yourself you know the the uh uncomfortableness is going to kind of like dissipate because I feel like you guys are going to start to feel more in control okay it feels as though you know you've gained some wisdom okay or somebody's going to come into your life to give you some wisdom to help you along the path this could be a person that's entering your life okay this could be a person that's already in your life could even be a father that's going to help you I'm not sure I feel as though there's there is something to do with um, a male figure, okay? Somebody that is male that is very wise, very practical, very responsible. That is going to be prominent in your life at the end of of July. That is going to help bring peace, okay? They're gonna. They may fall in love with you, you know, because this is the queen of love. So, I'm, and they are like mirroring each other, okay? So, I feel like there is, and maybe this person is traveling to you. I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what this is, but this, or who this is for, but it looks like you have been in an unhappy state of mind for some period of time, maybe even for the last year. I'm not sure. But now there's a new opportunity that is coming in to make you happy again. Whatever this is, I'm not sure. But we're going to get some more. I want to know what this is right up here. This this right here. This uh, emperor with the eight of pentacles. Maybe somebody from your past. Okay, this could be somebody from your past. You know, somebody from your childhood or somebody you've known before or who knows what. It probably is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I know we have Aries a couple times, so I'm not sure. You know, but I feel like whoever this is, they're going to relight that fire within you. They're going to help you, whether this is a, a partner or a friend or a family member, whoever this person is. They have wisdom to offer. They have help to offer. They, they're coming in to help you to, to feel good again, to feel, you know, to get creative, to build you up. They're going to build up your confidence again, whoever this person is. They think you're beautiful, whoever this person is. They think you're, whether you're a man or a woman, this person thinks that you are beautiful and they're in your match. You, you see, you're a match. You are. They're coming to help you heal. This person is going to help you heal. Now, like I said, it could be a father. could even be a mother. could be. It's a person that is very wise, somebody that is stable, somebody that is very structured. They have their shit together, whoever this person is. They're coming in to help you heal, to help you get over some loss. You're probably thinking, you know, they are helping you get over a loss. This is the loss, something that has died, something that did, was dissatisfying and unrealistic. 
they're helping you to get over this situation that didn't grow, whatever it was. Now, this is, this is faith. This is intuition. This is inner guide. This is Taurus. This is listening to your inner guide. This is believing in yourself. Being able to follow your own path. This can also signify a church, an institution, a school. Maybe this is a teacher of some sort. It's a father or it's somebody in authority. I'm not sure. There is somebody that is going to be helping you, Virgo, at the end of this month. Helping to restore your faith. Helping to, to restore your vibrancy. Somebody is coming in to help you heal. And I don't know who this is or who this is for. But somebody is coming in to help you restore your faith in who you are. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is for. You were dealing with a situation that wasn't right, okay? There, there was no future there. Wherever it was over here, whatever you were holding on to, it wasn't, it wasn't stable. It wasn't secure. There was a lack of, of truth in it. There was a lack of stability. There was... This is a lack of integrity, and I'm trying to find a different word, but it is. And this is it's cause of detachment. Whatever somebody has been stubbornly holding on to, it's not right. It's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> somebody has been obsessed with this situation, and it doesn't have any future. Therefore, there's a new opportunity. And you may not have been confident in any new opportunity. Maybe you have lost your focus. These are both lost your focus. Over here, in the past, the recent past, you have lost your focus. Seriously. Somebody has lost their focus and concentration about where their future lies, where they want to go, where they're going. I mean, the chariot is forward direction. It's moving forward. Momentum. Somebody had lost their focus to move forward, obsessed with something, holding on to something that made them very unhappy. Now, the, I'm not sure who you were holding on to. Could be, you know, water sign or earth sign or a uh, fire sign. But it feels like that somebody has made a decision that this isn't right it's not the right thing to hold on to this decision I need to free myself to I need to free myself I need to break these chains and move forward somebody recently has made the decision to break the chains and move forward from this toxic situation and now they've decided to replace the fear with faith heading head in a different direction they have a lot of self-love so I think it's you guys that have freed yourself from a toxic situation. You have. Many of you have freed yourself. And because you have, it's like the universe is giving you a reward. Yes. Past, future. There's, a, you, there's, a, there's two paths. There's two paths. It's, there's options here. It's like now you you have you're at a crossroads and, and you are being called to go through this no, new door there's a new door opening for you that's what this is there's absolutely a new door opening for you oh cease those stood right on their side for a minute did you see them they stood right up without my hands there yeah this situation was a lack of love somebody wasn't feeling love they weren't getting the love that they deserved so that's why you moved on you moved on because it wasn't love. You had to free yourself. This is freedom from a toxic situation. The devil, somebody has decided to restore control and break those chains. And travel in a new direction. Focus on the future. And I feel because you turn your back on this non-loving situation, now your ships are coming in. What you've been waiting for is arriving. 
that is exactly what this is. So Virgo, I feel like there's an opportunity for a new commitment here. This is a commitment perhaps with an Aries and it's, it's, it's I can't even believe this. I'm not even going to say anything else of it because, you know, this, I'm going to get one of these. There's a new opportunity here with somebody that is wise, could be any sign, somebody that is stable, somebody that is responsible, and somebody that is ready to commit, settle down, perhaps get married. They see your beauty. They're, help, they're here to help you heal. Love heals. Remember, love heals. So I feel there's a new opportunity. Somebody's coming in to offer you their their hand, their help, their love. Healing family issues, yes. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. You're, you know, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you heal, heal, <laughs> or forgive, sorry, as you, as you forgive. Your love life benefits as you forgive, period. Forgive this toxic situation. Understand that it wasn't love. Focus on the future. Let it go. There's a golden opportunity coming to you that is going to lead to something long-term, committed, and solid. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Congratulations. Your reward is on the way. Um, it's fantastic. Your, your period like, of unhappiness, and I think this is what I was trying to say earlier but couldn't say it. Your period of unhappiness is starting to dissipate. It's starting to go away. Somebody is here. Somebody is here to help. Whether it's somebody from the other side or somebody in this physical world, you are receiving help to help you heal, to bring back your vibrancy, to bring back your passion. And you are going to be looking very good during this time because this person is going to build you up. Oh, oh my gosh. I need to zoom that in. I try not to get emotional. Um, sometimes I can't help myself. I love you. <laughs> These are very important words. Opportunity for love at the end of July, Virgo. Something you've been waiting for. Maybe you're going to hear those, those three magic words. And they're real. Hopefully this reading is for you. Talk to you later.